Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to our daily divine tonic that set us spiritually, physically, and emotionally right for the day. Every day as you wake up, let it be your habit that you tap the button and let it be the first thing you listen to. Let your life motto be God's first in all you do. Welcome also to Thursday, the 17th day in November 2022. God is on your side. He will perfect everything that concerns you. Please open your hand to receive and be saying, Amen, I receive it. You shall ride on the eagle's wings today. It shall be well with you. God's word for today or his memo to us is from Isaiah 43, verse 9, message translation version. And it reads, Be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It is busting out. Don't you see it? There, I am making a way, a road for you in the desert and rivers from the bad lands. End of reading. Wow. All that for you? God is about to do a new thing in your life, your marriage, your home, your children, your body, your business, and everything connected to you. Something good is about to happen. God said, I'm about to turn it around for you and do something brand new. He said, I will make a road in the desert. Wow. That means I will make impossible possible. I will turn difficult situation into an easy one. Receive it. Maritally receive it. Everyone receive it. Maybe Suzanne, Esther, Jide, Tunde, Samuel, Johnson, Latif, Mohammed, Ismail, Chinwe, Frank, Ayo, Yejide, receive it. Deola, Harris, who is Harris? Rashidat, these are the names I'm hearing. Queen, David, Rufus, Olumide, Brima, Jenny, Joke, Joyce, Austin, Tony, Precious, Asibu, Alex, Nne, Gideon, Christiana, Amabella, Prince, Jordan, Essien, Bridget, Biodun, Badmos, Hazan, Uche, Kafilat, Receive it. Now, whether your name is mentioned or not, can you please mention your own name and declare that I receive it? For instance, Femi Emmanuel, receive it. Yes, road in the desert, only from the rock. Miracle in the most challenging situation. Receive it in Jesus' name. Say, I receive it. Yes, you have it by divine order. I see good things coming for everyone these days. As you go out today, for those of you going out, you will come back with sweet testimonies. November 17th celebrant. Your prayers, you are blessed. Your life is blessed. The rest of your life, till you are 120s, shall be the best of your days, in Jesus' name. All right, let's go to the segment of question and answers and see how many we can take today. First one, good evening, sir. I'm still down health-wise after so many medical treatments. Please, what can I do to be healed? Wow. You shall be healed, have hope, and believe God in your healing. However, this is for everyone. Prevention is better than cure. As we said it here yesterday, when I was talking about God's prescription for our, eat, our menu for healthy living. Now, we can live in good health if we take care of certain things about our health situation. But if sickness comes, combine medication and ministration as we teach it here. I am sure you, are you sure you are seeing a competent doctor? Because there's always a consultant, a competent doctor for every kind of ailment. Make sure you are seeing the right one. Then the warfare prayers, as we have taught it here. This battle is of the Lord. Engage his healing words and all the prophetic healing actions will take care. Your healing will come. Don't lose hope and please don't give up. Next, good afternoon, sir. Please, is it okay to drink water while fasting, say around 1 p.m.? I was very weak, so I just took a little water to regain strength. Have I broken the fast? Thank you, sir. Wow. We have spoken about fasting here many, many times. I told you, fasting is not divine punishment. It is spiritual enhancement. It's for spiritual good. Therefore, it is not how long the fast is, but how much of our faith we put into it. If you are going to do a long fasting 
and then you need water to keep hydrating your body. Your internal organs need hydration. You say you were weak. Is the weakness as a result of the fasting, or you were weak before you embark on the fast? Please, if you are weak or you are sickly, don't engage in fasting. I know many people who died fasting. No, that is wrong. Fasting is not to kill us. It is to make us spiritually healthy and vibrant. Many people fast uh, the wrong way and they fast for the wrong reasons. I have dealt with this many, many times here. Please scroll back to our relevant messages on fasting and praying. Sipping water for strength when you are fasting, as you have said, had not broken your fast. Next, hello, sir. My first question is this. Is it okay to share tithes with two different churches? Number two, I slept with my father's daughter years back, but I have prayed to God for forgiveness. Can God really forgive me of such sins? Because I kept remembering the scenario. What can I do, sir? Wow. On splitting of, splitting of tithes. I have spoken about that. Was it not yesterday or a few days ago when I used Jesus' parable in Luke chapter 8, verses 5 to 8 of the sea sower that went sowing different soil. It was the soil that determined the yield. So I said, once you determine or you have discovered a church or a ministry that blesses you the most and where you see result of so safe and they are taking care of the less privileged as ordained by God. That's a fertile soil. So your tithe there. Don't split your tithe. It is the same kingdom. And then if you sow in an infertile soil, there will be no yield for continuous sowing. I've spoken about that many times. Then on sleeping with your father's daughter, that must be your sister. I think you said that was a long time ago. And you have since repented and confessed to God. Then take your mind off it. God has forgiven you. Please forgive yourself. Block that thought and move on with your life. The problem with most people is that God has forgiven them, but they simply refuse to forgive themselves. Please forgive yourself and move on. Next, good morning, Daddy. In our family, we are six ladies. Why is it that none of us is married? Six of us have given birth to children. Please, I want to know. Wow, seven ladies in a family, none married, but six have children. How? Out of wedlock children? There's a problem here. Traceable to your parents, if not even to your lineage. How could they have brought up children promiscuous enough to be getting pregnant and having children without getting married? The foundation is wrong here. A family cause may also be in operation, as I see it here. So my counsel, first of all, is to you. Give your own life to Christ if you have not already done so. Then the family deliverance may be necessary. Daddy and mommy must have ignorantly entered into some spiritual covenant that is playing itself out on your children. That also can be broken if you will stand in the gap for the family and engage in spiritual warfare as we teach it here. Then connect your sisters to this platform. It will help them if they listen to Turning Point every day. Their lives can be straightened up. Please connect them. And then pray fervently to break the jinx over this family. I think there is a jinx here. The Lord will deliver you. You will marry well. You will be fruitful in Jesus' name. We'll continue from here tomorrow. Please do broadcast this message to all on your contact. Do so daily. Let what is blessing you also bless them. Today, Thursday, is the D-Day. It's our prayer mountain service day in Lagos. So all members and listeners of Turning Point in and around Lagos, come there live today. Leave home on time to beat the traffic. We do two prayer mountain services every Thursday. 7 to 9 a.m. is the first service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. is the second service. Attend the one that is most convenient for you. Living Spring Chapel, Goshen Line, opposite Allen Junction bus stop. You will see people trooping in. Please join them. It will bless you. Today's prayer focus is pulling down stronghold. Come and let the stronghold over your life and family be brought down, just like the family we just discussed now. There's a stronghold on that family. So all families, come and have the stronghold on your family brought down. Anointed mantle and anointed money shall be given to those coming for the first time 
for praying and doing miracles. Come to receive your own. Come to be prayed for and be anointed. Anointed. Two prayer mountain services shall also hold simultaneously at Dominion City, Aduloju bus stop, Ibadan. Free bus ride has been provided to take people to and fro from Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, and World Oil, Iwo Road. Go there before quarter to seven. The buses will be waiting. Also, this same service will hold at Kolobo Abel Kota, Oshobo and Akure. Telephone numbers to call for more information and direction is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Start calling and chatting now. It shall be live streamed. So join us from all over the world. Each time we receive the alert of your tithe, battle seed, thanksgiving seed, partnership commitment seed, and the level 11 seed we are sowing this month. I take your name and your things before my prayer altar. God answers my prayers. I start praying for you intentionally and personally. More will come for you. We tighten and sowing seed are our covenant with work with God as long as we live. Do it joyfully. Do it cheerfully. Do it with understanding and see your heavens open. Devour us, remove away from your life. Transgenerational blessing coming on you and the power of heaven. Opening God's power of financial blessing over you. Do so every time. Every time you sow, miracle comes down. As you listen to this audio message, you should subscribe to Turning Point today. Do so now. I pray for everyone today. The power of God is on you. The grace of God will multiply on you. Go out today and come back with testimonies. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest. Until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.